Welcome to the channel guys, this video is for college and sixth form students studying level 3 BTEC IT. In this video we're going to talk about the different methods a person might use to communicate online. In your exam you might be asked about the different methods a person might use to join online communities. So you should probably know two or three methods of communicating. So if it does come up in your exam you can answer the question easily. Towards the end of the video we'll go over an example question you might be asked in your exam. I'll put a timestamp on the screen if you want to skip to that part of the video. The first method we're going to go over is social media. Social media is always a great way for people to communicate online with others. And a big part of it is to create groups based around location, events and hobbies. Your exam question will usually revolve around the customer. So it could be an individual or a business. So if you need to talk about why an individual might use social media, you need to mention how they might use it to talk to their friends or join communities online. Whereas a business might use it for advertising and marketing purposes. The next method of communicating online we're going to talk about is through blogs. Blogs offer snippets of information rather than larger posts. And these can be in the form of videos such as video vlogs. People use blogs to share their opinion on news and other topics of interest. Another big part of blogs is that people can create a dialogue and share their thoughts on a certain topic. So this would be good for a user who is trying to communicate with others who have a shared interest. The next method of communicating online we're going to talk about is through wikis. Wikis are created and maintained by online communities. So groups of people with shared interests can add and edit information on the website. So this would be a good method for someone who is trying to find information about a certain topic. They can just look on Wikipedia and find any information which is up to date. The next method we're going to talk about is chat rooms and instant messaging. These are pretty much group chats where people can share their posts and communicate with each other over a shared interest. A good thing about these is that they can be very private. So if a person wants to share their thoughts with a certain community, they can do this privately instead of sharing it online with everyone. On the screen here you can see two different types of methods of communicating online. So the first one is podcasts. This is where people can join and listen to other users talk about a shared interest. So the broadcaster will have a few episodes on a certain topic which will help them grow a fan base. And the last one we're going to talk about is forums. It's also known as a message board where people share discussions about a shared topic. So how it works is someone will post a question publicly on a website where other users can answer the question and share their views on a certain topic. In this part of the video we're going to go over an example question that you might get on your Unit 1 IT Systems exam. So the question tells us that the user is a big fan of football and he wants to chat with others about his favourite team. And the question is asking us to describe three different methods that the user can use to get involved with online communities. So the first thing I do is I know that this question is 6 marks. So I'll talk about three different methods and provide three explanations of each one. The first method he could use is through social media groups online. So a great example would be Facebook that allows him to join groups of people who have a shared interest. The second method I've talked about is the use of joining online chat rooms. This is a great way for the user to communicate back and forth with others who also like his favourite team. And the last method I've said that the user could use to join online communities is through blogs. So with this method, the user could interact and communicate with others who have watched the same video as him. So this means that they share the same interest and they can create a dialogue with each other. Again, this question is only 6 marks, so you really don't need to write too much. 